guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting really to the brand new, it's really weird to say this because I did not think we were going to get to this so freaking quickly, um, Pretty Cure All-Stars F movie. Um, now, this movie just came out on Blu-ray, like, literally, what, two, three days ago, and literally, early, later, earlier in the day, because today's the 25th. Um, about maybe like midnight or one o'clock. <laughs> I didn't think it was going to take this long. I thought it was going to take at least two weeks to sub this. And nah, early this morning, this was subbed. But by the time this comes out, of course, it'll be a couple of days later. But I am super excited to see this. This is the most anticipated movie for Pretty Cures fans in a nutshell. Besides, you know, Wonderful, when since that is now starting very soon and such. Um... Yeah, and it's like, it's also the, because of the fact is, I, I'm, pro well, no, because of the fact is, because mm, my idea is to kind of release this, I don't know when, probably either, oh, I'm not going to say, um, so this will feel like our official goodbye to Hirogato, even though we're saying goodbye to them this weekend, which is obviously going to hurt the final thoughts and everything, so I was like, you know, I, I was praying that I was going to be able to see this before it came out, and thank God that, you know, that wish came true and stuff, but I am truly excited. So, um, BTW, for people who have not watched reaction movies with me and such, I can only record, um, up to an hour, so of course we're going to do this in, like, two parts, but... When you get the video, you will still have the whole movie itself in the reaction. It'll just be up to certain points. So, like, part one, not really this part, but the next part that I'm about to start with the movie. Um, that'll go into the 49, 59-minute mark, and then it'll... It's really, like, 50 minutes. It's a point where, like, um, Machido has, like, a conversation and stuff, but I stop before the sentence, like, mm, really kind of bit sentence and stuff. And then in part two, we will continue where that sentence is and then conclude the movie and then, yeah, talk about everything and such in a nutshell. But regardless, I am truly excited for this, especially when all the promo was coming out for this last year and how everything looked oh so good. And then it's also funny even more because one of the characters in this film is now also officially a pretty cure for Wonderful. So it's just, you, you never know. You never know. I am hugely proud of her, and I honestly cannot wait to see her interact with um, one particular character in this movie, who, you know, she plays her mom in Spy Family, aka my favorite best girl, Miss Little Hachan herself, Cure Felice. But I am going to go ahead and go. I hope you guys enjoy it and stuff. I honestly cannot wait to see it myself. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye. Okay. Part one in three, two, one, go. I'm so nervous. <laughs> We're not even going to talk about how she got there. Okay. I'm, oh, uh -huh. <gasps> no!
we about to get that HD movie transformation. When you also realize this is the last time we're going to see this transformation because something tells me with episode 50 we're not going to get it. Still beautiful. <laughs> the song's nice. You're just, you're somewhere, like, hmm? Mana <laughs> really. <laughs> Yui, are you hungry? <laughs> <laughs> Yui. <laughs> of course, she probably didn't eat. <laughs> <laughs> The meme queen is fucking back. I'm so <laughs> He's a mermaid. So, are we just saying this is just a dream for everyone? Huh? Who was that?
thing, baby. They they gave you that short end. Uh, okay, help, wait, wait, wait. Is Laura gonna get like the full full? No, that's okay. That is okay. I am fine with that. What, Laura, you didn't say anything either. <laughs> that means you. Oh my god. Yui is looking for a more. <laughs> my heart right now. I can't. And then, of course, Laura's looking for Manasu because, duh, they're girlfriends. Wait, what about the bunny? Yeah, where is Hardoka? There she is. Yukari, also wear her attitude. My baby. <laughs> My baby Lala. <laughs> I mean, yes, Lala, you're right, but you know, Yukari is just Yukari. Oh my god. <laughs> All I hear is Anya. No, 
it's okay. Oh. Hmm? <sighs> Water. Look, we have our Nadoka Ravini moment, even though. <laughs> oh, baby. No. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, these three idiots. <laughs> Good job, yay! Oh my god. <laughs> Was that what? N not the mushroom, Monatsu. Yui, no. Well, yes, Sora, your whole team is here, while for the rest of them, only either one or half. One or two. You're right. Well, dang, girl. I mean, she kicking butt and taking no answers. Like, I, I love it, though. She literally just kind of did a spirit gun with her fingers, and I love it. Okay, Yukari, you have to go back. My heart hit it, baby. 
know. <laughs> Umi's just like that. <laughs> Lala. No, Latte. Well, I feel like we're going back for her. Yep, not with her mom. Mm -hmm. You know, I would have thought that since Seiya was going to be here for Hagato, that possibly Hagutan or at least um Hana would have also shown up or at least um well you can't have Amidu and Lulu because you, you can't have one without the other so I get that oh. her eyes are really pretty Is that how I think it is, voice-wise? It is. Uh, of course. It, of course she's in this. <laughs> you want to be friends? I mean, you know, Miss Kishon Monogatari, baby. You would be thinking about Akira now. Oh, baby. Come on. No, Lala. Baby, my shy baby. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> I miss him so much. Oh my god, I'm gonna cry. The castle. Or did that remind her of the the per Yeah, maybe. Oh my god.
Yeah, Prem is literally just acting like literally a little bit of Adi slash a little bit of Kit Shot. <laughs> okay, Sheena Boo, but of course, and then a little bit of Shiki, but of course, it's her Sayuda. Well, you have that dr that sequence at the beginning. And it has to do something with Preem. Uh, well. Magical Girls. Mm-hmm. Which was Laura. Mm-hmm. Hey, yeah, and call me. Mm-hmm. No, oh my God. We're going to see the last page be filled this weekend. Oh, my God. Oh. I know. You'll find her again. Prem, you scare me. But you know what? That's okay. That shows Shiki coming out. And I'm guessing they're, they're reliving this due to Prem. Well, I mean, Haruka, you already done it. Oh, the train. Oh, Nanoka, come on! Oh, baby's asthma! Oh. Come on, you got this! Oh, 
Well, I guess we're walking again. You okay? No, 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 it's okay! It's okay! All right, me McQueen. <laughs> Had to run after another train. Oh, go not okay. Poor Lala. <laughs> No one said anything to you? Okay. Wait, Laura, hold on. so cute oh oh
they were so close! Well, brain. But it was only because, you know, it's all praying. It's okay. Of course, not necessarily what arrive first. <laughs> so, where the heck is Team Tsubasa? They were on their way as well. Hmm? Oh, they ready, ready. Well, you did good, babe. Is it weird? Like, what if Ark is preen? I, I mean, because she's been real quiet up until this point. Uh, that's my Laura. Hmm? Um, doesn't this seem a little too easy? Right. Everybody.
within the spaceship for Lala. All that should be here. Y'all literally brought her here. Oh my god. No! That whip. Oh my god. And that's what separated them. And then they woke up from that. They've been in a never ending. Oh, my God. No. Mm -hmm. Made yourself friendly. She even got her own ish. Oh, my God. <laughs>
like literally she's being like princess from powerpuff girls and wanting to be a powerpuff girl like so bad oh my god don't say that Oh, the outfit looks better in black. I mean, yeah, white is nice, but you know, black, it look good. When the two best girls go in, like, Just knock them out like they were nothing. No! My heart is literally breaking right now. I, I can't. It's too much. Okay, we gotta pause that. I need a moment before I watch part two, so give me a sec. I'll see you guys in a moment. Alrighty, part two in three, two, one. And there's got to be a way we can change it. Don't make out cry. No more cry. No more tears for baby. That's right.
honey, you, you think that's the end? Oh, boo-boo, you have another thing coming. No. If y'all don't make Maya into an actual pretty care, you ain't got to do it for wonderful. But at least the next season, because ma'am got potential. I'm just saying. She up in here with her voice, and I, and I love it. bringing everybody in. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, we gotta have the cannon moment for these two. <laughs> my baby. Not a music king. Not a music king.
I can't do this. Oh my god, it's too emotional. Of course, of course, <laughs> my, my baby. <laughs> oh, they would do that part. My thing is like, what are they going to show for? There's only 79, what, 78 of them?
Te guachi, ¿eh? Again, this is too much. This is too <laughs> My heart can't take this. It's too much. I'm dying right now, oh my god. Literally all of them. <laughs> if they don't put this song on Apple Music, oh my god, because it's too freaking good. <laughs> We're almost done with this game. We have four minutes left. Oh my god.
No, you're not. You have blue back. I'm serious. You better make her into a pretty character. Please, and thank you. You already made Puka, aka Anya from Spy Family, into a pretty character. She can become one, too. Please and thank you, I'm just saying. <laughs> okay, this... No, no, oh my god. <laughs> this song. This was really good. I, I mean, like, to know more at the end of the day, like, it was just... Preem was the villain. Because, okay, and, and they did a really good job of hiding it because of the fact is when the promo and everything for this movie came out, like... We were all sitting here wondering, like, okay, where's the villain showing up in this, and how is this going to go? But I think this was a really interesting way to do that. I mean, I, I've seen shows out of the 30 freaking years of my life. I've seen several different animes do different ways of having the villain around, but I do love the fact is that, one, we started the movie right where at that moment where, uh, I'm about to say Mana too. <laughs> Sora wakes up. And she sees that moment, she wakes up, and then she's living that moment again. They all lived it over and over and over again. Until finally, it's like, oh, okay, this is how we do it. But it was really just sweet to see, really, at the end of the day, everybody reuniting with each other. That was super freaking wholesome. I was not expecting that. But also, you got me to cry. You got me to tear up. And just, that's pretty here in a nutshell. Anytime when it makes me cry, like... That's when I know I love this show even more. And it's just, it, it's wholesome. It's my, it's my comfort show and stuff. And even though I haven't rewatched every season, like, in a hot minute, would I do it again? I certainly would. This was good. Short. It felt really short because it went by so freaking quickly. I wish it was longer. But it was good. It was really adorable. And, and oh my god, just... Uh, one thing I do want to talk about, Majesty. Baby only came in for a moment, but she came in and she went out and she was like, look, I've done my deed. I did a damn good job. And, and I loved it. <laughs> she literally did the tuxedo mask meme, but in a good way. Like, she still did something. Everybody did something. Like, okay, no, but can we really just talk about the fact? Look at my baby. <laughs> The fact of them bringing everybody back. Like, the fact is, they, they, what the, the biggest thing is they gave everyone who really needed important moments to talk just to freaking talk. Like, I, I did not think that, you know, they would have been like, oh, yeah, let's have Cure, Cure Blossom, aka the, the queen, Nana Mizuki, have her come in and say a moment. But, of course, because of the fact is we're talking about mainly each pink cure from black all the way to before um, Cure Sky, literally Precious, of course everybody was going to have a speaking role for at least a moment. I do love the fact is, looking at the memories, it, it's literally an important memory of each season of each show. And I thought that was really sweet and very wholesome and wonderful. I mean, y you got me on there. Y you really got me. Like, seriously, you, you didn't have to, but you did that. And you did that ish good. I mean, seriously, this was so, like, I think this is the best All Star movie we had, like, in the longest time. Because, like, to see how far we've come, because the last All Star movie we had where everybody was together, I think, was um, Mahot's Guy. Because after Mahot's Guy, that's when we only got the three recents. And so, when we came to, I think... When we got to Delicious Party, I think majority of us, because at first we, majority of the fan base didn't really like the fact that we were only going to get the previous gens only for three and such. So technically you had the newest group and then two previous groups and stuff, which is like still good at the end of the day. But, you know, the best thing about Pretty Cure is that, you know, eventually we all get to see all these characters interact together even if it's for a moment and stuff. And we know that with these movies, they're not essentially canon and stuff. They're just for that season and then they don't talk about it again. But because of the fact is we're now getting like sequels and stuff, not only with the Yes, Pretty Cure 5, um, Go Go sequel, but also Futa not Futariwa, um, 
Mahold Sky. Um, also getting a sequel that's probably going to come out later on in this year. I'm guessing around the same time as the Yes, so fall of this year. Um, I kind of consider, and I think I've done this for a while, like every All-Star movie is canon. Even though they don't really talk and interact like in the regular TV shows, the spinoffs and this is kind of really saying like, oh, hey, yeah, we're canon. Plus the fact is, I think most of us have seen now with the first spinoff series of them interacting, they all live somewhere like close-knit together where eventually they are going to interact. So, I mean, just make that canon. Um, <laughs> besides literally having every single pretty gear in this and literally having a speaking role, even if it was just for a moment, the cast was good. Um... I think it's Maya, Maya Sakamoto, I think that's her name. Or, like, the queen, literally, because she is a queen just as much as Nana Mizuki. Having her as a villain uh, is still nuts because any role that she's done and voiced in, she does beautifully in, and, of course, she's still one of my top favorites. But, yeah, please, for the love of God, make her into a pretty girl. Like, I, I mean, seriously, you, you did good with this. You did good, because the last somewhat all-star movie, you had Mamoru, you had, like, Yagami, and y'all literally trumped that by getting her. So, I, I cannot even imagine what the heck the next all-star movie is going to be, and who that villain is going to be voiced by, because I love that they only really save, um, like, big, big name seiyus for movies as villains. I mean, as much as I would love to hear someone, like, any of the seiyus that I love, male or female, in these 50 or 48 to 49 episode series like I get it but getting some of those things it is a lot of like money just to hire them we've already had that conversation with Star Twinkle and you know the Zodiac Keys <laughs> and them because you know issues and I don't really want to talk about that again because I, I it was a one and done situation and I don't think I will ever talk about that again so if you really wanted to go hear that I think it's the I think I talked about it in the finale for it, in my opinion for it. Um, if I still have it up, I think I do. Yeah. Cause I haven't gotten in trouble for anything yet for it, but honestly still, this was really good. Um, Puka, Puka was adorable. Oh my God. Because once again, that's Anya from spy family. Like that's precious baby girl. And the fact that she also in the end turns into a pretty kid, just as much as like three, four other mascots. It, it wasn't really surprising. You kind of knew it was going to happen, but it was still enjoyable to see and see her able to go toe to toe with um, Supreme at the same time. But like, seriously, once again, this was good. This was a 10 out of 10 film. Um, I really have nothing else to say. It was just good. I just love the fact that everybody, like my faves, having my faves interact and just to have a moment together. Mom and Dad, Yukari and Akira, like, the fact is when she was freezing, she immediately thought of her, once again, married. They, they've they been married since, you know, the beginning and end of Kita Kita Pretty Girl Mode. And even though everyone's like, oh my god, no, they're married. They, every couple or just any moment, Mashiro and freaking Sora, they're married. They've been married since episode one, even though they didn't interact at, until the end of episode one. And even though, well... Because, of course, once again, by the time you guys see this, of course, we'll be done with it. Even though we are now officially at the end of Hirogana Sky Pretty Here, and, of course, I've probably done my final thoughts and stuff, um, I still enjoyed it for what it was. And this was a really good year for Pretty Here for our 20th anniversary and stuff. It just makes me super excited when we get to the 25th and the 30th. Um, and what those will be like, I really, I, as I said last week, and I'm probably going to say it again this week, um, of course, continuing the tradition of, you know, having our boy cure can, being in a group again, we are all praying that the one boy that is in the, um, the one picture, also, I gotta make a thumbnail for Wonder Woman this weekend, um, him and his bunny become a cure and such, that's the biggest thing, but, you know, who knows, we still really don't know much about it, it's just, you know, at the end of the day, everybody's guesses and everything, but, you know, when we find out, it's gonna be the best day ever, um, and then also finding out who he's voiced by, because we only really know um, Wonderful and, of course, um, What's-Her-Face, which is, you know, the two that I... Well, no. <laughs> it's Kana from Kobayashi and Anya from Spy Family, which it, it's still nuts to think about 
and I in my wildest dreams never would have thought that like those two would have been partners and I do like the fact that we're kind of getting duos again for those two just as much as we did with this um for Hirogato and then eventually we're going to get into four so I think we're in the end we're going to get a big group again and we haven't seen a big group since like Kira Kira so I I'm honestly really excited I just you know I, I can't wait I hate the fact that this you know is the weekend that Hirogato is going to be over but at the same time a week later we start again with Wonderful and we fall in love with these girls and characters again. And then, of course, when we get halfway down the road and see leads for the next series, you know, we do the cycle all over again. Once again, it's like the Doctor from Doctor Who. And it's a never-ending cycle. <laughs> you know, we're all going to be a part of that wild ride. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards the Pretty Hero All-Stars F movie. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all um, next Sunday for this, well, mm, next Saturday. Or I'm going to try to do it Saturday night. Next Saturday night. That is my goal, regardless. Um, it's either next Saturday night or Sunday morning, probably, when typically because I have to work on Sundays um for the start of wonderful pretty here and of course you know fangirling and crying ish because if you know me I always do that but until then I will see you guys all next time bye